Hi and welcome on another one of our virtual Yellowstone tours. Today we're at the Upper Geyser Basin again and we're going to be visiting one of Yellowstone's what I call Big Five Geysers. But this time instead of starting in the Old Faithful Inn area, we're starting our little hike to Daisy Geyser on the other side from the Grand Loop Road. And if you do come this way and take this little walk, I do suggest that you bring your bear spray with you. I always take the safety off, just in case, because if we do come across a bear all of a sudden, you don't want to be messing around trying to remove the safety, so you can use the, the bear spray. That's the Firehole River straight ahead of us. You can see thermal features on both sides. Those of you who've seen others of these videos will know that there hasn't been a bear attack on a group of six or more people in the Yellowstone area. But the fewer the people, the greater the chance there is of a bear attack. And today, it's just me and Amber one of our team at our West Yellowstone office. As you can see from this trail, the vast majority of people who visit the Upper Geyser Basin go and park their cars in the parking lots around Old Faithful Inn and the Visitor Center and Old Faithful Lodge, and then walk to the geysers from that side. I wanted to show you what it was like doing it in a slightly different way. We can see thermal features once again, right next to the river. I mentioned before you could probably do a whole book of photos on dead trees in Yellowstone. There's some really stunning shapes. And once again, those of you who watch a few of these videos will know that the Firehole River is a thermal river. And what that means is there's water flowing from the thermal features into the river from the geysers and the hot springs. Look at this little pool. It's one of the beauties of taking this trail. You don't want to get too close to any of these pools or any of the thermal features because you could go straight through the ground. So look at those bubbles coming up. Bear experts say that when you're in areas like these, you really should make a lot of noise so you don't uh, surprise a bear. Notice the markings on the trees. This will be a cross-country ski trail in the winter. And so you can see where the trail goes. We can see markings on that tree ahead of us as well. Notice the snags up there. The snag, once again, is a standing dead tree. It looks like there was some buffalo here. And we're back alongside the Firehole River. Quite a few more snags in this area, aren't there? memory serves me correctly, I think that's Black Sand Pool over there. Now I know that Black Sand Basin is all the way back over there, but still, I believe that's the name of that pool. So 
so even though this is the 3rd of July, you can still have Yellowstone to yourself if you know where to go. We haven't seen one other person out. steam again over there and straight ahead of us so we're clearly approaching the thermal areas and what's called the daisy group is off in that direction <coughs> by the daisy group I mean that there's a number of thermal features there and they take their name after the main guys in the area. Too bad we just can't cut across the meadow, isn't it? But you generally don't want to walk anywhere where there's not a boardwalk near a thermal feature. Oh, and here's our first person. And up next is what we came to see, Daisy Geyser erupting. You can watch the full eruption in one of our other virtual Yellowstone tours. <laughs> 